oil rigs, they stop 20 to 30 percent shorter, which is 40, 30 to 40 percent less than the government standard. For an example, the faster the truck is going, the more effective disc brakes are. At 65 miles per hour, a typical drum brake scenario will stop in 255 to 292 feet. That's the Bendix testing with an 80,000 pound loaded trailer, okay? That's 255 to 292. You go to air disc brakes and that same truck will stop in 185 to 210 feet. That is quite significant. That's 60 feet shorter with air, air disc brakes. Now, let's uh, uh, speed for most guys except the owner operators today who we now are saying, man, we're dropping our speed back 10 miles an hour so we can save some fuel, okay? But at 75 miles per hour, typically drum brakes will stop between 450 and 518 feet. That's 450 minimum, okay? You go to air disc brakes and you can cut that down to 305 to 325 feet. That knocks off 145 feet. That is significant, needless to say. Okay, another positive attribute of air disc brakes is that they are virtually uh, no brake fade. And the best thing is that's wet or dry. Okay, they just don't fade. Very, very consistent brake. Okay, uh, straight and stable stops due to the uh, minimal brake force variation. Of course, you have your dual pistons in each of the, each of the uh, wheel ends, and you get very even application of those pistons against the pads, against the rotor, so you get very little variation in the, in the uh, pressure itself. Go ahead. One of the positive attributes is low maintenance on these on, uh, air disc brakes. You simply pull this hitch clip out, pull this pin out, this keeper just hooks in here. You just lift that up, pull that right out, and then take both these pads. Okay. And just you can extract them right from the sides of the rotor. Okay. There's two pistons in there. You, you have a tool. You force those pistons back. Okay. You take the new pads. You insert them right here. Put the keeper back in, put the pin back in, and uh, you're good to go. Put the wheels and tires back on. The first time you step on that brake, they will self-adjust to the rotor. They're always in direct and perfect proximity to the rotor. That's one of the beauties of air disc brakes. And you said it takes longer to take the tire and wheel off than actually replacing the brake. That's exactly right. Okay.